Hello everyone. This is Monday, October 17th, 2022. It's 12 degrees Celsius out and the time is 12 noon. And I'm doing a video of, I'm gonna go all the way up to downtown Halifax on Barrington Street. And as soon as I got ready to start this video, there's an accident right here at the corner of Peace and Friendship Park and Hollis, Hollis Street where it comes around the park. It comes south and then it turns west right here at the end of the park. And I see an accident. Somebody got the front end, front bumper tore off their car and there's a tow truck here. And there's, I say that car in the back is somehow involved in this because she was sitting there waiting to, for the tow truck. So anyways, I'm starting this video right here and I'm gonna go the rest of the way down, down Barrington and then we'll come up the other side because I'm almost down to the end anyway. And then we'll go down and then we'll come back up the other side and do the whole length of the city from south to north, okay? Whole length of Barrington except Barrington goes all the way up to the bridge and I don't think I'll maybe I will maybe I won't go that far because it'd be a long video anyway just just getting up to the other end so over in the background you'll see a cruise ship quite a large one NCL cruise ship here quite a large ship I would say I can count at least 11 floors there, could be more. Yeah, it's, a, it's quite, a, quite a large cruise ship. This has been a great month for cruise ships and September was too. September was a lot of cruise ships came in here. More than there was in the summertime for some reason. Maybe the discounts in the fall, that's probably what it is. Discount, discount Hi, cruise ships. Hello. Hi. Can you give me 10 you? What would you like? Do you have? Oh yeah, yeah. Can you help me, please? Yes, Halifax Walker. H A L I F A X. Oh wait, wait, the X. Halifax. Oh, oh, winter, Halifax, like Halifax winter, but Walker. Yeah, we, Walker? Yeah, Halifax Walker. Walker? Yeah, W-A-L-K-E-R. -E there it is, Halifax Walker, yeah. And you'll see all my videos. I have loads of videos. Is this you? Yep, that's me. Thank you so much. Sir. You're welcome. Have a good day. You're welcome. Thank you. You too. I yep. like that. <laughs> Thank you. See ya. Bye-bye. So that was great. I met somebody there and they wanted to know my YouTube channel. And so I fixed him right up there with my name and how to find me on YouTube. And he looked it up and he was tickled to death. So there you go. Right behind Pier 21 is the, is the big cruise ship right then just taking a look at it because once you go up in there to the waterfront you can't really see the cruise ships that good anymore so I thought I'd walk over in the parking lot here and you can get a better you can get a lot better look at the cruise ship from here than you can over there that's, that's a bad place because it's kind of fenced in you, you can only see the front of it from over there but right here you can see the whole thing this is a big ship a very big ship so I just come down here to give you a little look at it and and then we'll move on along down Barrington and then all the way back up okay that sounds like fun I think so I think that's a good good thing to do I hope you looked at my video that came out this morning it was the truck convoy to raise money for Special Olympics 
and they raised a lot of money too, and the thousands of dollars that they raised from that tr truck convoy. We went for about an hour and a half drive, and my wife is a courier driver, and she was involved in it. So rather than take a picture, take a video of the run going by me, we were in it. We took it from the perspective of the drivers in the convoy. And so we went around and uh, did the run. It was about an hour and a half. My video was very long. I hardly ever make a video an hour and a half long. But this video is long. But not the one you're watching, but the one that came out this morning, okay? Which would be Monday morning. By the time you see this one, it'll already have passed. If you want to see the truck convoy, you got to go back to Monday's, Monday's video. Okay? Well, anyway, enough about that. Let's go through the parking lot here and then we'll go up, we'll go up the other side, okay? I might go down as far as Tim Hortons and just, just take a little break and then I'll come back and start up at, right up again at, at Tim Hortons. That's how I'll right with you, okay. It takes a certain amount of coffee just to make these videos, you know, you gotta be, you gotta be coffeeed up pretty good here to keep the, the, the ball rolling so I might have to stop at Tim Hortons and replenish my my coffee system but I don't think you folks will mind if I just push that stop button and, and uh, have, have a, a, a quick coffee and come right back here but I don't think you'll mind I know you won't mind Because you won't miss a beat. I'll just be, it'll just be off and right back on. You won't even know I was in there if I didn't tell you. All right, we're in the south end now. And I'm just going to make my way over to Tim Hortons. And then we'll come out and we'll do as promised. I'm going to do a full video all the way up Barrington Street. At least to Scotia Square. I may go beyond, I may not. But it will be at least to Scotia Square. All right, we took a little detour there. I'm glad I did, because somebody wanted to know what my, what I went by here, and I, and I told him, and he put it in his phone, and there we go. Maybe I'll subscribe. Maybe we'll get a new subscriber from that, possibly. Well, what a great day! It's my, my. Phone said it was 12 degrees, but I don't know. This is warm out. I've had days when it's 15 degrees. I had to button my coat right up. And my coat is open today. Look, I'm going to turn the phone around. You can see my coat is open. There we go. My coat is open today. There's a reason I turned my phone around instead of using the buttons because a while ago, few, several months ago now, they did an update on these gimbals. And ever since they did that update, they won't pair up. I so I have to, I can do some of the functions with my button on my, on my gimbal and the rest I have to do directly into my phone. <coughs> and turning the screen around, I'd have to get right into my phone. I can't use the buttons on the gimbal. So that's why I turned the phone all the way around. <coughs> Be nice if it would work properly, but those updates, sometimes they do more harm than good. And that's what happened. They did an update on my phone and half of the functions don't work anymore. And this was a new phone just a few months ago, but I thought when I got a new phone, it would cure the problem, but it didn't. Then I got a new gimbal and I thought that would cure the problem. It didn't. It's still the same as the other one was. So here we are at Tim Hortons. I just gotta turn my phone around the other way and, and uh, take a quick break and then I'll be right back, okay? So here we are, pointing towards the road, taking a quick break, we'll be right back, okay. I just came out of Tim Hortons and my coffee addiction has been satisfied. 
the beast is tamed. Okay, now we are going to get ready and we're going to walk the other way. Just as soon as I get over here by these trees, I'm going to turn around because these trees are so beautiful with the fall leaves and everything. I thought I'd come to here. This is pretty much the beginning of of spring of uh, Barrington Street. So from here, we're going to walk straight up Barrington Street. I might go across the street though, get another perspective on this. But guess what I'll do? We'll go across the street. We're on the west side of Barrington in the south end of Halifax, making our way to the north. Okay, here we go. I'll try not to stop again for anything until we get this video done, okay? I'm using my microphone today. The the one I did with the convoy, I was inside the truck. I didn't bother with the microphone. Didn't really need it inside. And today outside, it's always nicer to use your microphone because you're competing with buses and trucks and all kinds of stuff. So that's it. We're making our way back up Barrington. You can see we got a beautiful day here. I seen on my phone, it's going up to 18 degrees today, which is going to be beautiful, beautiful afternoon. Right now, I think, I didn't check my phone when I was stopped at Tim Hortons, but I would imagine by now, we're probably, we're probably past 15 by now. Because it is, like it's just too warm to be 12, 13 degrees, that's just, I would say we're up around 15 by now if I was going to make a guess. Off in the distance is the Western Hotel. Used to be the Hotel Nova Scotia a long time ago. But now it's the Western Hotel. It's been that for since I it's been that since I've been back here this time, which has been three years. Right, August, three years and three months I've been back in Halifax. Sorry, uh, four years. Four years and three months. We came here in 2018. Nice Four years. Four years and three months I've been here. Okay, we'll get that straightened out. All right. In the south end, you only have this. for stores like grocery places. You have this one. There's another one. Up west to here a little bit. And I don't know if anything else here. Yeah. Gas station, right there stuff. It's not like the north end. It's not busy like that. But it's still a busy part of the city, as you can see. There's a lot of cars coming and going, but the, the north end is for sure. Young and Ovi area is a lot busier than down here, but it's still good. I like south end. I like all of Halifax. There's no, there's no bad parts here. It's all depends on what you like. I like my my area I like the best is the north end and downtown. Downtown anywhere. This is downtown. This is the south end but it's still downtown. Okay, there's where the action it was when I started the video. It's long gone now. It didn't take long to clean up and get down there. I see a sign about a October 14th to 16th. Oh, it's, 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 it's over. This is the 17th. It's over now. It was on this weekend, the Diwali Carnival. Good day for tow trucks down here. Just picking another one up. That could be a no parking violation. Maybe. And they don't look to be smashed. You gotta be careful where you park down here. You block any driveways. 
you're fair game, you're gonna get towed. And, and you can easily get a ticket here through the week. The weekend is pretty good, but through the week, be careful how you park. Make sure you get your, your uh, they all do it online here now. So make sure you pay your, your parking in downtown Halifax. It just saves you a whole lot of trouble if you pay for it. And even if you paid $10, $15 for parking, your ticket's gonna be a lot more than that if you, if you don't pay the parking. So, you know, pay whatever you need to pay and save the ticket. That's what I say. All right, we're back at Hollis again where I pretty much started this video. At Barrington and Hollis. Now we're heading north on Barrington. And I'll try to show you all the things that are on Barrington Street. There's an old landmark right there. It's been here for ages. The Henry House Restaurant and Pub. It's an old, old place. Been here a long time. This house was built in 1834. It was a suburb of Halifax at the time. Can you imagine? Wow. Anyways, give that. I knew that because there was a plaque on the wall that told me all that information. So I do know some facts and figures, but some of it I just read it as I go. I don't know everything. All right. This is going to be great. I never thought to do this for a long time. Just do a straight walk right up Barrington. Like I, I don't know, it just never occurred to me. For, never done it for a long time. Probably a, a couple of years since I just did a walk up Barrington. So a lot of my newer viewers wouldn't have even seen anything like that. And it changed over time too. So even if you saw it before, it's gonna look different now than it did. It looks different now than it did a year ago because some things have been changed and rebuilt and buildings tore down and new ones going up and all kinds of stuff. Well, for the 17th of October, this is one gorgeous day. And on the 20th, this is, which is Thursday, I'm going for my last checkup on my eye. They just do that just to make sure. I did all my drops like I was supposed to do, put all my eye drops in, have to do that for a month after you get your eye surgery. I did all that. It's good, it's not sore, it's not hidden. I think I'm gonna be okay with that. So I better have to go for a checkup on Thursday. Yeah, I like to keep you folks informed of all this stuff so you know how's it, how things are going here. Well, I gotta walk, I can go, look at that. With the amount of construction and buildings and stuff going up and land and so all the stuff, it's not unusual to see older buildings shut down from the purpose they were designed for to make way for something else. And that building right there was a church, but it is, it is uh, being sold to make way for progress. And, And I'm sure they've uh, did an alternative uh, church somewhere. So, yeah. Anyways, we're going to continue on up 
Barrington Street. This is part of Dalhousie University, it's right here on Barrington. It's the Hart House, 1340 Barrington. And a lot of the university stuff goes west from here. Nothing, nothing the other way, I don't think. It goes west, west from Barrington Street. You go right up into the campus, down on this end, in the south end. Now has the University of Sexton campus. What a gorgeous fall day this is. That's guess that's why everybody's out walking and the cruise ships in too. A lot of these people are from the cruise ships. And you can tell the people from the cruise ship, they got those tags hanging around them. Like this one right here. It's got a, they got a tag with their picture on it. And that's so everybody knows. And when they get back on the ship, they have to show that. Oh, you can tell the cruise ship people by their tag. All right, I did a video on this place once before, but we'll just do a quick walk through it, okay? Heritage property, this is provincial heritage property right here. So let's just take a little quick spin around through here. We're not going to take long. This is what they call the old burying grounds in Halifax. Okay, this goes way back to 17, before 1749 probably. That's when this became a city or when it was founded. But some of these stones are pretty old in here. There are a lot of them from the 1700s. And I'm just taking a quick walk through here. This is not a graveyard that's used anymore. This is uh, history. That's the historic graveyard. A historic graveyard in here. Eighteen thirty-four. This person here departed this life September eighteen thirty-four. Oh, soon be, soon be 200 years ago. That, that's just one, there's all kinds of, uh, some of these people didn't live to be old back then. In memory of Christina, the wife of John Monroe, who died the 14th of January at age 45. These some people had very short lives back in that, Time. I doubt if even had penicillin then that day. I'm not sure when penicillin got discovered, but I don't think it was, I don't think they had it back then. So a slight infection could be your demise. Here's one that died really young at 20, at 20 28 years old. William Forsyth Reed, a native of, if I can pronounce it right, Lockarbor, Lockarbor, Scotland, who died the 16th of December, 1841, at age 28. And there's a lot of these. Here's another one died at 37. Here's another one died at 48. A lot of those, a lot of people didn't live to be old back then. I guess it was a harsh life and not the drugs and medicine we have now. And they died young. But some lived to be a ripe old age, regardless of lack of medicines. Anyways, I'm not gonna spend a long time in here. This is an old burying ground. I just given you a little sample of it, the kind of people that's in here. 
usually tell their age, and a lot of them were quite young. All right. Okay, let's just go back out now, because we gotta, we gotta make this video all the way, length of Barrington Street, okay? So we'll keep on going, we'll go back out. I don't wanna make the whole video about this burying ground because I had done that once before I made a video in here. This is just to show you a quick, a quick view while we're right here, while we're walking by it. All right, so we'll continue on up Barrington Street. I call west up and south there. West, oh, sorry, north, north up and south down. Okay, so we're going up. We're going up north to go down south, okay. So we're going up Barrington Street. There's an old church that was built in 1749. I can't read the date, but I know I saw it before. 1749 and the number on it's 1479. Imagine that. We got the same numbers but just different order. Getting some getting some work done to it, an upgrade to it, because pretty old. The United Church of Canada, St. Matthews, to be exact. And this building right here is the front of it is all brand new. It took me a couple of years to get, get this far with this. It's almost ready to open. And all this front part, you see all the way up to the end there, that's all new. And there's going to be some shops and things in, inside there. It's an office tower, but I'm sure there will be surely at least one food place in there, along with other things that are going in there. No, we're not going up Spring Garden today. We're going right on by Spring Garden, and we're going to go all the way up Barrington Street. At least as far as Scotia Square, maybe beyond. Okay, we'll see. See how the time goes. Yeah, there's the new, the new front on this. We won't do any jaywalking here. We we'll wait for the walk sign because that's the busy, busy intersection. And we don't want to be jaywalking here. Working hard at her trying to get it completed so they can open this part up. It'd be nice. I'm just waiting forward to see what they got so far. They just put pretty much all the stuff in there right now, but there's five spaces left. Hopefully, one will be food, a coffee shop, or something. Yeah, that'd be nice. Little look at the harbor over there. Downtown Halifax Business Commission, right there. I smelled diesel smoke from that bus that went by. straighten up my screen every once in a while. It starts to tip a little. Mm -hmm. 
I had them a hundred dollars. That's what you get free here in Nova Scotia when you're a senior, which I am. Seniors don't have to pay for eye exams. They are free of charge if you're a senior. These people don't understand crosswalks. The bus went right through, and the next vehicle went right through. This spot right here is where the old theater used to be. They still got the thing out over it. Remember when the, the days of cinema when they had the flashing lights in the entranceway? Well, that's what this is. A leftover from theater days, cinema. Cinema days when they had the, all those theater lights around the front. It's still there, but the movie theater is long gone. It has another purpose now. You see that score pizza over there? That used to be Starbucks. And when COVID came along, they tried to keep it open, but they couldn't make enough business and they moved out. So we lost that Starbucks when, when COVID came along. Okay, I'm gonna cross, go back up this side, because this side's kind of better. You're in the shade, you don't have the sun shining in the camera. Yeah, much nicer over this side. Starbucks coffee shop. That was much nicer place. Well, piece is all right, but I, I really like going in there when it was Starbucks. You can sit there, look out the window. You can the other one down on Spring Garden. You can look out the window too. There's a place right there that says coffee. I'm not sure. It's called it's Weird Harbor Espresso. That's an espresso place. I've never been in there yet, but one day maybe I'll try it. Try the coffee out. I'm not much for espresso, but, I'm, but coffee is good. I don't like my coffee super strong. I like it. I like, might like be able to taste it, but don't have to be real strong to make me happy. Walk on this one, I might as well walk too. Yeah. We are at Prince Street, which goes up towards Citadel Hill. And right, let's continue on. This church right here is a landmark in Halifax. Everybody that comes to Halifax has to have a look at that church. They do tours, I believe tours in there. 
and it's still used, still used on Sunday for church and things. It's the Anglican Church, built again in 1749. 1749 is a popular date in Halifax. A lot of things were built then. I believe the Catholic Church, the Anglican Church, and the United Church. I think they all go back to, to 1749. Although the United Church, I'm not 100% sure, but I think so. So we'll walk up in this little, this is what they call the Grand Parade. It's right on Barrington. And why they call it the Parade, I'm not sure. But it's called the Grand Parade, nevertheless. This park. It's a little park right in the heart of downtown Halifax. And we might as well start by, start by having a look at the, the, the church, the sign in the church. And you'll see that I am correct in my figures. 1749. This building was established as a church of, it used to be the Church of England and now it's called the Anglican Church. But it's the same thing. All right, let's take a look. They still have church here too. At Sundays at 10 a.m. and Wednesdays, they have communion, Eucharist at 11 a.m. Fridays, Friday morning is morning prayer. All right, now we'll get down to the, to the date on this. It doesn't say, yes it is, look right here, founded 1749. That's a very important date in Halifax. A lot of stuff was founded in 1749. So there we are, one of the oldest churches in this city, still in use today, and they do tours here and Anybody can walk right in here off the street. You're welcome. So, anyways, let's uh, continue on through the park, and then we'll go back out onto Barrington Street. Look at this! Isn't this beautiful from up here? You can see the buildings in the city in the background. There's one under construction right over there, which we'll take a look at that again shortly, because we didn't really look at that building. So when I go out of the gate, we'll feature that. Okay, let's take one walk around the Grand Parade. This is the City Hall Park, because that building right straight ahead is Halifax City Hall. which I've featured in a, on different various videos I've made. I've shown City Hall, because it is an important building here in Halifax, I must say. And here's a guy making videos. I'm not sure what he's... <laughs> so let's go down the center. We'll go right down the center and show City Hall as we're walking up to it. What a beautiful spot. A lot of people just, they get tired walking around the city, they come up in here and there's shade from the trees and benches where you can sit. Some of them have been taken up now. There was benches in here along here that have been taken up. But there's still some here. I think that, I don't know if they take them all out of here in the winter or if they leave some here, I'm not sure. I've been here four years, but I wasn't really paying attention to the benches in here. So I can't say for sure. But anyway, there's, uh, there's Halifax City Hall. Looks very British in its style. A lot of buildings like that in that era. I doubt if that's the first city hall we ever had. There probably was a, another one somewhere before that. I'd like to get a date on when this was built. I see a plaque. No, that wouldn't be it over there. I think there's a, I think we'll get something off of this plaque over here. Okay, we'll find out that when Halifax City Hall, the one we see now, was built. All right, so let's go over to the plaque and see if we can get a, a date on this. 
So here we are. The Halifax Bass City Hall was erected between 1887 and 1890. So they obviously had another city hall before that. Yes, this historic building is representative of city halls found during the 19th century. It's a progressive, moderately sized Canadian city with highly developed municipal services. Civic pride and optimism are symbolized by the monumental scale, elaborate design, and permanent location on the Grand Parade. Here we go. Between 1887 and 1890. And it is a well-maintained building, as you can see. And there's details on it over the windows and doors and things. Lots of details. And if you walk over to the edge, you'll see that there's a, it goes down below here. I guess that was for back in the old days to protect City Hall from enemies. You can't get in here because there's an iron gate down there. Whoops, the gimbal's going crazy down there. There's an iron gate down there and there's a ways in. There's a stair step to walk right over the top. But to get down there, it's mostly employees, I would say, that's gonna get down there. All right, let's head back over to Barrington Street again. That's just a little side step showing you the City Hall Park, which is called the Grand Parade. I won't get into all the details of it in here because this video is not about City Hall. This is about Barrington Street. Barrington and nothing but Barrington, what we're showing today. If it's on Barrington Street, we'll take a quick look at it. Right now, I'm headed south, but it's only because the gate is down here to get back out. I could have went out the west, northwest end, but I want to come back out on Barrington, so I'm have to go back this way and then come out on Barrington Street and then we'll take a look at something across the road there that I showed you from when we were standing over there and that is this building right here. Some of the buildings in Halifax, the old historic buildings, they'll let the developers tear it down but they have to save part of the building and incorporated into the new building. So that's what this is right here. They saved a corner right here. They saved a corner right here and a corner on the other street. And this is what they called the press block. I guess there was, I think I saw there was six newspaper companies here at one time. Now there's none, but I don't know if Halifax is even one newspaper. I'm not sure. I can't. I can't tell you that one for sure because I, I don't know the for sure. But let's go see what we can find out here. All right. They had to build this structure up to make sure that that old wall didn't fall, collapse down here, and be a mess. So they, so they did that. And they build it right into the building that's going up here. Okay, now I'll tell you about the press block. This is the press block. And I think they're gonna go with the same name when, when they get it all done. It's gonna be the press block. Opening early 2024. So probably in the spring of 2024, that will be open. Apartments and uh, and there goes the tour bus. One of the old British style transit buses are now tour buses in many cities in Canada. Let's see the press block. I saw something about there were six, six, six there right there. At one time there were six newspapers in this block. Look right there, six newspapers. And this one little block, Barrington, George, and Granville Street. 
So, can't wait to see it all done. See how it looked when it's all done, it ought to be good. So, all right, let's continue back up now. We didn't go very far off course here. Barrington's right here. I just came down to show you that building. All right, we might as well stay on this side of the street for now, I guess. Why not, right? One last look at City Hall, right there. Okay. Okay, so it's not Toronto City Hall, but we're a lot smaller city. And I think it's very nice looking building. I'm very proud of the city hall here in Halifax. It looks good. It's a good size hall for the city. And yes, we have Amazon here. About a year ago, maybe? Maybe about a year ago. They, they moved into Halifax and, and got a distribution center. And now we have Amazon all over the streets here in Halifax which means you'll get your order really quick. You order something from Amazon, don't take very long to get it. Sometime next day, sometime the day after or something. Don't take long. I just want to step in here to see what my uh, time is on my video. All right, this is 37 minutes. And there's probably, the first section I made probably got at least 10 minutes. So 47, by the time I finish this, we'll be, we'll be close to an hour, which is a good size video, okay? There's Scotia Square. Right there, all this building. And there's a, and there's a mall inside and the hotel just beyond Scotia Square has, a, has access right into the mall in Scotia Square. So if you want to go in there and walk around and shop, go to the coffee shops, things like that, it's, it's easy to do from there. I'm just going to get in behind here so I don't uh, get, cut anybody off. Um, all right, now, Scotia Square, is a major bus terminal area in, in Halifax. Almost all the buses that come from surrounding areas stop here. There might be a few exceptions, but most of them stop here. And if they don't stop here, they stop down under the hill at the Water Street Terminal, which isn't very far from here. I guess this must be bus parking. Oh, this is cab, cab parking for the Barrington Hotel. And they brag, I got a 15 minute guest registration. Look at that. 15 minute guest registration. So that's not fast. That's, I mean, that's not too slow. That's pretty fast, 15 minutes. Part of the pedway up there that can get to a lot of stuff without going out in the elements when it's raining or snowing or any of that stuff or just cold. Well, we made it up to Scotia Square. I don't think we need to go too much farther because this video is going to be long enough by the time you I put the two pieces together. It's going to be almost an hour. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna stop right here in the shade and look over at Scotia Square and we'll sign off right here, okay? I'm gonna go right up on the steps here where I can get a little height. And then, looks like they're building something right down here, look. A lot of plans for this area. This is where all the new park area and stuff and they're tearing down the highway, the overhead highways. And I'm gonna have park area here. And it's going to be a really nice project when it's all done. All right, enough about that.
I want to see the sign, Scotia Square, which is right over here. Scotia Square sign right there. Right behind, right over that bus is Scotia Square sign. All right, we'll leave it there. Now, if you like this video, push that thumbs up sign, if you don't mind, if you want to, if you feel so inclined, then I'll know you enjoyed this video. And if you're not yet a subscriber, I would just love it if you become a subscriber as we make our way toward the 1,000 subscriber mark. The, the lucky number, 1,000, that's what we're aiming for. We're almost to 900. We'll be there before long. Okay, with your help, we'll be there. We'll, we'll make it this year. Okay, with that, I want to say, I hope you're having a really nice day. Take care, be safe, and we'll see you all on the next video. Bye for now.